My name is Ben Chung, and in this video, I'm going to give you an introduction to the tech deck, the game concepts, and how it modernizes playing cards, and a video focusing on the tech deck family of games. The tech deck concepts. The tech deck modernizes classic playing cards, bringing them into the 21st century. You can use it for any classic card game, and unique card game effects enhance any classic card game, creating interesting interactions to provide replayability. It's versatile and portable. The small form factor is easy to carry. Wherever you are, whomever you are with, you can enjoy gaming with the tech deck. Games long and short, casual and serious. The Tech Deck is a game platform that you can play many games with. The family of Tech Deck games appeals to different audiences, speaking to hardcore gamers, non-gamers, party settings, and family settings. Modernizing cards. One of the aims of the Tech Deck is to modernize playing cards. Playing cards first came to Europe from the Mamluk Empire in 1370 with their card game Naib. And by 1377, it had developed into the classic cards that we know today with clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds evolving in Europe. Be sure to check out the introduction a video where I talk about the evolution of playing cards. The tech deck modernizes playing cards with each tech deck card having modern concepts that somebody will recognize in modern society. Uh, here's a view of a modern tech deck um, card where the modern concept of software and in this case, the six of technology, the tech deck playing card index is shown in the upper left, um, a card image showing software and the inventor and their related invention and the game effect with also the traditional playing card index to help you acclimate to the tech deck. The tech deck as a game platform. There are many games that are specially designed to be played with the tech deck. And the rest of this video will go over those other games including Tech Grid Poker, Tech City, Tech Exchange, Tech Chess, Gears of Industry, Elevator Pitch, Cardal, and Chronological and Peer-to-Peer. -peer. Tech Grid Poker falls into the family or category of games of poker type games. And Tech Grid Poker adds a new dimension to traditional poker. In classic Texas Hold'em Poker, they use a single row of communal cards. Tech um, Grid Poker uses a three by three array of cards from which players make two poker hands simultaneously. Tech City falls into the game genre or game category of tile laying games, where players place game elements, tiles, in a play area to, pro to produce a free form dynamic map on the playboard. Tech City is a multiplayer, semi cooperative city building game for one to six players. Each card in the tech deck represents companies in Tech City, each with special effects that players can use and more effects become available as the city expands. Service company effects can be used, to, can be used uh, multiple times in a turn, and they're communally built, and each domain has special intrinsic effects. Tech Exchange falls into the category of real-time games, where games don't have turns, players play simultaneously and in real time, they make key decisions in a freeform manner, and Tech Exchange is a multiplayer game from two to six players, where players trade cards between themselves in real time. Each card in the tech deck represents company stocks that players trade. And as players trade cards and use card abilities, the stock market can gain in value. Tech chess falls into the family of chess games. And chess is probably one of the best known games in history with many variations that exist in the world. Tech chess is a two player chess variant game where chess pieces are each have abilities. It, it uses the tech deck cards to represent chess pieces on the board. Um, so they, and, and because of that, they each have special abilities. It's played on a six by six board where each player starts with two kings, a knight, a queen, two rooks, and six pawns that can each be upgraded. Players draw three cards from the tech deck at the start of the game, and they can move, use a card effect, build or upgrade a piece on their turn. If you like chess, you'll enjoy tech chess. Gears of Industry falls into to the category of customizable games, games that allow players to personalize their player experience or gameplay elements. Games such as role-playing games, legacy games, and collectible card games fall into this category of game. Gears of Industry is a personalized card game where players each use a customized deck. 
It's not a collectible game, nor a living card game, though all players build their deck from a fixed card pool, the tech deck. And each player can personalize their own tech deck and create a unique play experience to reflect their personality and play style. Elevator Pitch falls into the genre or category of party game. Party games are lighthearted games with a lightweight rules set, and these are aimed at a general party setting. And they're, and they're best suited for non-gamers and gamers alike, where they're in a, a common game um, environment. The tech deck cards are laid out in pairs randomly, and each player selects any pair on the table and thinks of a company inspired from the two cards. Then they deliver a short elevator pitch to the other players who act as venture capitalists, and you can let your imagination run wild, come up with a name for your company, what your company does, and how it could better the world. Cardle falls into the game family of of deduction game and deduction games involve solving a puzzle or mystery the players use logical deduction based on information they gather to come to a conclusion cardal is a game where players try to crack a hidden six digit code encoded in the tech deck cards players have seven tries to deduce the secret code and each turn players get to make an educated guess with cards trying to deduce the secret code the code master gives information about the accuracy of each guess whether it's an exact match a value match displaced or absent Cardle can be played in group mode with one codemaster against all the other players, or in head-to-head -head mode where players and teams compete against each other to try to break the other team's secret code. Chronological falls into the category of educational game, a game where facts and figures play a role in the game. Players learn something interesting as they go through the game. Chronological is an educational game using the tech deck. It's appropriate as a family game or party game with non-gamers and gamers alike. Players are trying to chronologically place tech deck cards in a timeline and provide information about key people and their inventions or discoveries on the concepts of the tech deck cards. Players will learn interesting facts about some of the most pivotal technologies and concepts that make moder up modern society. Chronological can be played solo in teams with a group, and it can be played in cooperative or competitive mode. Peer-to-peer -peer falls into the category of deck building game. Deck building games have players build a personalized deck of cards throughout the game, and players will acquire cards to improve their deck and to improve their chances at victory. Peer-to-peer -peer reflects the many power to the people technologies. Today, those, tech, those industries include retailing such as eBay, hotel accommodations with Airbnb, file sharing with Dropbox, videos with YouTube, ride sharing with Uber, and encyclopedias with Wikipedia. People are giving power to the people. Peer-to-peer -peer is a team versus team deck building game where teams each create a company at the start of the game and work together to fulfill market needs. As they fulfill market customers, players or teams can choose to score or improve their play decks. So thank you for watching this introduction video to the tech deck. And this video has focused on the various games in the tech deck family. Be sure to check out the other video, which talks about more in depth about the history of playing cards and how the tech deck modernizes playing cards. Also, be sure to check out individual videos for any game that you're interested in. You can also check out my website or BoardGameGeek for more resources. Thank you.